Don't let the blue screen of death get you down. I will show you how to fix this problem step by step. So let's begin. Click on advanced options. Select troubleshoot. Then click on advanced options. Now select command prompt. Type chkdsk slash f slash r c colon and hit enter to execute the command. Now wait for some time to complete the process. Once done, move to the next step. Type c colon and hit enter to execute the command. Now type cd space c colon slash and hit enter to execute the command. Type cd space windows and simply hit enter to execute the command. Type cd space system32 and simply hit enter. Type in cd space config and simply hit enter to execute the command. Now type md backup and simply hit enter. Now type copy space star dot star space backup and hit enter now type md backup1 and hit enter now execute this command carefully type in copy space star dot star space backup1 then simply hit enter to execute the command now type cd space regback and simply hit enter now type dir and hit enter now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter then type all and hit enter now execute this command, type bootrec space slash fix mbr and simply hit enter. Now execute this command, type in bootrec slash fix boot and hit enter. Now execute this command, cd space c colon slash. Now type cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash regback and hit enter to execute. Now type this command bcd edit space slash export space c colon slash bcd backup and hit enter. Type cd space c colon slash and hit enter. Now type this md space boot and hit enter. Now execute this command. Type cd space boot and simply hit enter. Now type md space bcd and hit enter. Now execute this command. Type cd space c colon slash and hit enter. Now type attrib c colon slash boot slash bcd dash h dash r dash s and hit enter. Now type ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old. Then simply hit enter to execute this command. Now execute this command. Type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and simply hit enter to execute this command now type exit and simply hit enter now click on continue it will restart your system so that's it guys your problem is solved and you are good to go